Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and I try and this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how skin retouching is very easy when you're using frequency separation. So so many videos on YouTube are really complicating this process of frequency separation. But I want to show you how you can easily understand and grasp everything about frequency separation as a skin retouching technique. So remember, frequency separation divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. So that when you combine both layers, you can end up with the same image. So basically the low frequency layer contains the colors and the high frequency layer contains the textures so when you combine both layers you end up with the same exact image so the very first thing you want to do before retouching this very image is first of all cleaning up and removing the blemishes so you're going to create a copy from the background layer by pressing ctrl j once and we're going to simply come and get the patch tool right here so right click here and get the patch tool so you may be having the spotting brush tool as the default so right click and get the patch tool and with the patch tool selected you can zoom in and how this basically works you select the blemish by left clicking and drawing around it and moving it to a clean area that is next to the blemish so that is how to replace blemishes using as uh, a patch tool and it helps you clean up or remove the skin imperfections in this case so i'm just i'm going to forward this and I'll see you later on in this very uh, tutorial. hello welcome back and you can see i'm done removing the blemishes from this very image you can see before and after and i just used only and only a patch tool so the next thing is going to be skin retouching remember we divide the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer so i'm just going to come to this layer and i simply press ctrl j once more or you can use command j and you can double click to rename this to low and you can double click to name this to high so when you do this simply come and hide or deactivate the high frequency layer and simply select the low frequency layer simply come to filter blur and come down to gaussian blur so when you come to gaussian blur you have to look at the area that has prominent skin texture in your image and start taking up the radius up to a point when you just start in close out on those details in your image so around five that is when i'm just starting close out on the textures or the details in the image i'm just going to simply hit ok so after doing that i'm just going to come the high frequency layer now activate it then come to image and come down to apply image so when i come to apply image simply come and select the low frequency layer. so a source is the name of the image and select the low frequency layer because we are extracting our information from the low frequency layer so if i told you have an 8-bit image make sure the blend mode has to be subtract or pass at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check the scale is trend offset 108 and make sure invert is not turned on so you see the textures on the gray kind of layer but if at all you're having a 16-bit image like i have right here simply come and make sure the layer you select is low the channel is rgb and also the blend mode is add opacity at 100 percent preserve transparency and masks are not checked the scale is trend offset zero and make sure you turn on invert option and simply click ok so after that just come to the blend mode that is going to eliminate the gray color from the image that is going to be linear light just like that and simply group these two layers by left clicking and selecting both layers and pressing ctrl command g on the keyboard and you can rename that to frequency separation so after doing this i'm just going to come and open up the group and after opening it up select your low frequency line come under the brushes right click and get the mr brush tool so with this make sure the hardness is zero percent and make sure clean brush is also selected and make sure you select the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke right here and also the weight is going to be nine percent the load of 75 percent the miss at 90 and the flow of 100 percent so make sure sample orders is not checked because when you check this option it means the brush is going to be carrying information from the high frequency and painting it in the low frequency which you don't want so make sure 
sample areas is not checked. So as you're retouching, we're just going to come and turn off the textures or the high frequency layer. And with the Mr. Brush tool, you're just going to simply blend the transitions or the skin color within the image. So how to do this? You have to move the brush in the direction of how a given area is shaped. So make sure you mix colors that are looking alike within the image or in a given area. So in order to reduce or decrease on the size of the brush you can use the bracket keys on the keyboard so the left hand is going to decrease on the size of your uh, mixer brush tool and the right bracket is going to increase on the size of your mixer brush tool so you have to keep on playing around with different variations or sizes of your mixer brush tool and the more plastic the image is getting the better the results at the end of the blending or mixing process so how to mix you left click and hold down and simply move your cursor or mouse or whatever you're using or trackpad and that is how to use as uh, a mr brush tool so when you turn on the texture layer you can notice that we have successfully retained the original skin details within the image so i'm just going to be forwarding this and with the low frequency layer still selected i'm just going to be blending every area and mixing colors that are looking alike in the image And the other thing I forgot to tell you was, as you're retouching, make sure you retouch at a distance because in this way you can see the uneven skin tone transitions and you blend them or mix them better. So always retouch at a distance as you're working on the image using the Mr. Brush tool so that you can see the colors that are not transitioning quite well within the skin tones or skin color of your photos or portraits. So I'm just going to be forwarding this once again. Welcome back and you can see I'm done retouching this very image using a Mr. Brush tool and this is the before after before after you can see that I have still retained the original skin textures in the image so I'll do a little bit of brushing right around the chin area using the Mr. Brush tool and that is going to make the image look uh, better so you can see that the Mr. Brush tool really gets the job done at the end of the day so after using a Mr. Brush tool I tend to incorporate another technique that using the lasso tool. So with the lasso tool, I mean, we're going to be fine tuning the areas that we may have missed out as we are using the mixer brush tool to even out the transitions within the image. So just come right here and get the lasso tool and make sure it is in new selection mode and make sure the feathering is 22 pixels because we want the selection to have very smooth edges. Then after that, make sure anti alias is selected and now we just want to come and make a selection. So you have to follow the way a given area is shaped just like that. And with this, just come back to filter and come to blur and come to Gaussian blur. So we are still selected on the low frequency layer. So with this, you're going to get the original Gaussian blur radius that you had for your image. So simply start taking that up, up to a point when you feel like you're having a very nice skin texture for your image. So around 15, that is when I have a nice texture. So I can share a hack with you. So for whichever it is that you may have used for your frequency separation process just multiply that by three so initially i had five so five by three i'm just going to type in five times three you get 15 so i'll just type in 15 and simply hit enter so i'll be applying this effect onto the overall image so make sure you follow the selections like i said so you have to make the selection according to the way a given area is shaped so right click and come to gaussian blur and come to this other area and also make that selection because the reason for following the shape is because we want to retain the original shape of the models first and we don't want to distort that in the process of retouching so that is why we are still following the original or initial shape of uh, the models face so just come and do that so initially i only do this for only the face area and i don't apply it on any other area so you can see we are done retouching this and you can see how nice and simple frequency separation is. So I'm just going to be applying it on this highlight. And when you feel like the selection is a little bit too much or intense, you can right click on the selection and simply fade Gaussian blur and reduce on the opacity of that given area. So I'll leave everything at 100%. And let me show you a quick before and after for the retouching process. So this is the image 
before after before after you can see how nice you touch the image has gotten to be with just frequent separation so this is all for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronis from ronis photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating